Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 5 Colonel Part 36. We got Bristol and Richmond in this episode. Also, uh, it's a short track uh, themed episode. So, uh, we already got our work plan stuff started. We already have our momentum. So, we should be on a track of just domination station from here on out. And uh, obviously, with Bristol, uh, we're, go we're still going with three times wear, but we'll still have the pit. Our fuel should be around like 56 laps out of 65, so we'll definitely have to pit maybe a little bit sooner than that, but if so, we'll just simply take right side tires, but that's really it. So, um, other than that, um, we'll jump into qualifying and see where we start. Through three and four, goal times of 15, eight. We're gonna be a little bit off of that, and it's 11th. Damn, I think we could have definitely got a couple tenths faster on that, but running inside lines, so that's good. And, Tyler Reddick's on pole with Kenseth at second. Well, isn't that just a weird duo for the top two? Poor Kenseth. And somebody got sent to the back, too, so that's just even more, more awful. Okay, it's not uh, the front row, so... Uh, I guess it was Chris... Oh, it was Kyle Busch. Ooh. Poor Kyle Busch. <laughs> well, 65 laps. <clears throat> My voice is cracking. I don't know why. Or it's running out of air or something. Something's going on, but... Nice little start, 65 laps, 57 in uh, the fuel. Um, we'll definitely have to pit for sure. Pff, that was phew, close. Poor Eric Jones has got boned and all that. But, but uh, also we have to factor in lap traffic too, you know, helping us out. So. We got that on our side. And it looks like uh, Reddick. Great. Right. Great. Now we have front bumper damage. And Logano gets sideways for no, like, apparent reason. Because AI getting touched here is just... A literal crime essentially some good news is we finally copped to the lap traffic now we just got to get around them all poor kansas got held by chad fincham we'll get by those two without a problem now we got reddick here i'm just gonna just drive up here on the outside just that's where lap traffic aren't at so yeah brad also took the lead so there's that as well and the gap was from like 1.8 now it's down to about a second so progress is being made and as the run goes on, as we get more, into more lap traffic, we should be able to get the lead here without too much of a problem. It's just, uh, just a waiting game right now, and thankfully, you know, we're taking all the steps needed to you know, get by uh, lap traffic and gain spots on uh, the pack of cars up in front of me. Alrighty, we're catching Tyler Reddick here. He's going to get caught up in more lap traffic, as well as Brad Kozlowski and William Byron. Actually, third, second, and first all right there in front of me. Isn't that cute? There we go to the super mega ultra high lane. That's three wide for the lead. Oof, wait, we did, we did it. Barely, but we did it. And now let's pull away. Oh my god! Well, <laughs> what the fuck? When you stop in front of me, what do you think's gonna happen? Now I got like big time damage. God damn, I, I can't believe they just stopped. Um, well, that's, this is going to make this race a lot harder now. Thankfully, because of Almirola, we'll get by Kozlowski here. And, oh my god, that was rough. But we got the lead. Um, I don't even know if we can pull away, but we'll try something. Oh my god, I... Okay, he kept it going. Still, like, I barely fucking touch him. Oh, whatever, we got a big lead, doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, oh my god, why are you stopping when he's, like, diving on the... I mean, he's on the racing surface, but he's nowhere near anyone. Oh my god, I'm so fucking fed up with this dumb, stupid, dumb fucking game. I said dumb like five times, but I don't care. It's unreal, like, the lead we have. It's damn near half a lap over Brad Kislowski. I, I have no words. We're just destroying them. I mean, we have damage, too. That's slowing us down, I'm sure, and it, we're still killing them, so I, I don't know. But we'll be pinned here shortly. Just a normal right side tire stop. I'm gonna pit this lap. I'm not gonna worry too much about the, the damage. We're not gonna repair that, so. Just 30 miles an hour. Perfect. Not repair damage. 
and just a splash. That should be good enough. 7.1 second stop. Just enough time to have a little snack of popcorn. And I will be out in the way. Now we just gotta wait for this all to cycle through. And just like that, we'll cycle back out into the lead. Thankfully, all of them pitted just eh, about the same time I did. Maybe a little bit later, but nothing too egregious. So. Yeah, now we'll just see how many cars we lap by the end of the race, which might be the whole damn field, because I... Are they taking four tires, or... Jimmy Johnson's now second. Weird. Okay, well, we just lapped the whole field. Okay, I guess they all took four tires then. My flag's out. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I mean... We just straight up just crushed them. We had a couple of hiccups here and there, but ultimately it didn't affect us at the end of the day. And poor Chris Rubel, after we destroyed him, he was our first uh, victim. Gets 32nd. We'll win. Obviously, Richmond's going to be a lot tougher, so. that it, It's going to be interesting to see how that just shakes up. Just to see how good we'll do and all that stuff, so. Brad Kozlowski second, Matthew third, uh, Kenza fourth, and we have Hamlin tenth, and we have lapped up to uh, 11th on back, we're two laps down. And Kyle Busch, who started basically last, gets 12th, which is a hell of a comeback for him, including, you know, you know considering his Bristol. But we'll get great earnings and all the same usual stuff, 1.1 million in merch. And that's uh, 1.4 in total, and uh, we uh, extend our point lead even further. Surprised it's moderate driving considering how much damage there was on the car, but you know, I'll, I'll take it. And we uh, got a lot more earnings. You know what? You hit me every... Leave it to Austin Dillon to make a bold claim about <laughs> hitting a car to win a race. Wow. We're going to insult them. Chris Buescher, one, two, three, four. I I know Buescher. That's a lot. I know that's more than you can you count. But whatever. Uh, hey, why did you run me off the track? I didn't even touch you. Boo-hoo, Bubba. Boo-hoo. Okay, on to Richmond. We got everything situated for Richmond. Um, I'm not really sure what the fuel will be. I think we... Uh, so it should be a clear-cut one pit stop race. I'm not 100% sure. Again, gotta get that Google Doc out. Make sure your listing's right, folks, to, to get the game balanced the way you should. Because uh, that's what I should have done, apparently. But everything is the same as usual. We'll just jump into qualifying and uh, see what we do at, uh, at Richmond. Through 3 and 4, goal times at 20.6. I don't think we'll get that exactly, but 20.8 is not bad. Considering the AI at this track are absolutely insane in terms of difficulty. 14th is pretty damn good. Obviously, we're going into this with about... Almost the best possible stuff. 100 engine, 100 suspension, 95 arrow. And momentum, so... Should be good. But, uh, yeah. 52 laps. I checked in the thing. It's over 13th on the inside line, which is actually even better. So we can cheese the start even further. It's a daytime race, huh? Is it, was this supposed to be a daytime race before COVID hit, or... I don't know. This is based on the, the schedule before the world fell apart. So I don't, I don't know. Eric Jones went to the back. I guess that's where we got the spot from. Yeah, our fuel thing, it said 37 laps, so... Yeah, it's going to be definitely, without a question, one pit stop for us. Unless the AI want to screw it up and do, like, four, who, who the hell knows, but... Uh, we got a you know, pretty decent launch off the start. Usually the AI kind of bunch up a little bit in one and two on the initial start, so that helps us gain a couple more extra spots. And already up in the top 10, we're 8th. 7th and 6th are side by side. We might be able to get those spots. And also, too, we got lap traffic to factor in as well. And pit stops. So, as long as this goes green. I don't know if I have a chance to win, but I think a top 5 is a very uh, strong possibility as we're already up to 7th uh, and nearly 6th with uh, side by side with Hamlin. I think after Byron might be the only uh, might be able to chill for a little bit. Yeah, because we got by Hamlin not too, uh, too uh, not too much of a problem, and then now we got to worry about Byron. Still in sixth, uh, we're catching Byron just a little bit, but not quite enough to pass him. He's actually taking the corners, oh, except for this lap. Okay, maybe. Okay, we uh, had the method after all that he was looking for. But yeah, we're just trying to get by him. We're just stuck here for a while now. Lap traffic should be playing a factor here probably within the next 10 laps, I bet. 
So, yeah, everything's kind of spread out now. Truex is riding the outside lane for no good reason here at Richmond. So, Cowboys is going to probably take the lead from that. So, good on you, Truex, for being stupid. And then you're going to probably blame Cowboys for passing over something stupid. That's what Truex does nowadays, and it's, it's quite sad. Yeah, we're trying to get fifth. We're sliding. Our car is very loose. I have it on a seven for the slider, so it's kind of built to be a little bit on the edge. The inside of Byron, we clipped the, the apron. And no contact with them, so that's good. We're going to actually make a clean pass. As long as we just get through three and four properly. And we do. A little bit a little bit of drifty drift, but we'll take over fifth as the bend in mid, and it takes over six as well. Well, we're still fifth. Uh, Trex and Bush are kind of having an epic battle up there for the lead. And all that stuff. Just trying to hit my marks. The car is slidey. The frame's dipping. It, there's just so many different factors of the game trying to bone me. Don't like it like usual. But I'm, I know I'm, I'm not supposed to say that. I'm supposed to like it. I like getting fucked. Not even 10 laps later. The leaders have caught lap traffic. And we've caught up to Kurt Bush. We're going to actually pass him here for fourth. Clip the apron there. And, oof. All right, we did it. Now we got to catch third if we can. The Ben and Ninnan is trying really hard to get by me. We are clipping the apron like it's nobody's business. And we block him unintentionally. But, yeah, now we got to catch third, which I think is Harvick. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. I... The AI poke, it just never stops. Now we got ass end damage, and now my arrows, like, now my car is going to be stupid more loose than what it was before because of that now. So thank you. Great, now I got front bumper damage because I'm trying to get around fat ass Brendan Gone. God damn it, live traffic pissing me off. Just, just move. And, oh my god, the thing is loose. I think Matt's gonna get by me here finally. We try holding him off, but he just keeps being at my ass for so many laps. He finally did it. He finally invaded my privacy. If you're so fast, Matt, just, just, just pull away. Yeah, I thought so. Well, he's gonna get held up by lap traffic, so that's gonna help us out tremendously. Yeah, okay. McDowell's gonna hold up uh, basically both of us. Sorry, the... I didn't mean to hit you, but the, the frames dipped again, so I, I couldn't, like, control the car there. There we go. We're back to fourth. A little, little cheesy how we did it, but we got fourth nonetheless. Oh my god, the fucking frames. I'm tired of these stupid issues in a game in 2020, for God's sakes, guys. God, I just absolutely obliterated them because of that. Like, the fact that a 30 frame per second game can't even do that right, then what, where, what universe are we in? Like, it's just so damn sad. I'm pinning this slap. It looks like the other AI drivers are going to be doing the same. No, they're not. Okay, never mind. All right, well, uh, we're just taking rides to repair the damage. Yeah, a little bit of fuel. That should be enough. And that's... Yeah, we'll, we'll tighten the car up a little bit because it was stupidly loose. So, yeah, that's it. Eight second pit stop. Not even a second to repair damage. Maybe like six tenth of a second. But, yeah. Also having another little, little grab of popcorn. It was tasty. And uh, now we'll see where everybody else uh, cycles out. Can we bullshit another win? I don't I don't know, but i like to see if I can try. Okay, there's Truex. That is for position. I think that's Kyle Busch way, way up there. So I think we're going to get second, surprisingly. So we're actually going to gain time. So, um, interesting enough. Yeah, we are truly going to cycle out in a second. Okay, uh, we closed in like over three seconds because we were like five and a half back from him so damn our our pit crew's on it uh oh i well i one i messed up the corner but two kyle bush is running the high side and he's losing like he lost like half a second okay seven tenths now on me but yeah he's just being really stupid now on track 
I don't, I don't know why he's doing it, but we're closing in on him. And that little bit of a wedge adjustment helped out the car a bit. I'm not sure how much better it would be if I took four, but obviously I wouldn't even be second if, that, if I did that. But yeah, we're closing a little bit. I just don't know if it's enough. We need more lap traffic to really uh, bind them up. That boy, Ryan Blaney. N never stop being an idiot. That, that was just fucking stupid. How that whole wreck transpired. Oh boy, the dynamic duo of Michael McDowell and I think Joey Gase. Oh great, I tapped Tyler, Tyler Reddick off turn two. He's not even a spin turn three. Way to go. Glad that's not been fixed since NASCAR Heat 2000. But yeah, we're, uh, we're closing in on Kyle Busch a lot now. He's getting pinned on both lanes, so... Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, I'm using a lot of Bonaggi uh, terminology here today. I don't know why. But we're closing in, though. We could we, A cheesing of the win is possible. <laughs> oh, my God. It can happen. Here we go, side by side. Oh, my good Lord. That's loose. Joey Gaze, you keep holding them up. You keep doing your thing. And Michael McDowell. Uh oh. Oh, we got the lead, though. As he was blocking me, though. That was, that was interesting. Okay, new leader with, like... Three to go. Um, I don't know if we can pull away. Wow, this thing is so bad with right side tires. Good lord. But yeah, we're we're leading. <laughs> let's, let's 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 keep it up. As he's still driving the outside line like a dumbass. White flags out. We continue to pull away from Kyle Busch. He's still getting held up in lap traffic. I think Brandon Gons the next victim of his uh, of Kyle Busch's ineptitude. But yeah, we're doing good. Some way, somehow, just like Texas, we're going to bullshit a win, and we'll do it. <laughs> oh my god. If we can win Richmond, then holy shit, then we have a serious chance of just winning out almost the majority of this season. Not exactly, but a lot. Well, uh, finishing results, uh, we got pretty... Out of the normal top 10 to bend in there in sixth place and only uh, 13 on the lead lap we did lap a good chunk of people so holy crap and poor brendan gone is three laps down but yeah i mean richmond is one of the more tougher tracks in this game and the fact that we won like i said that's that's terrifying we are gonna destroy this season <laughs> 1.4 million in the bank again more playoff points but uh yeah i don't even know what to say we're just <laughs> We're basically, I mean, at this point, it's not even going to be a, a spoiler. We are going to win the championship without a question. Like, it's just, it's going to happen. Modern driving. I think this, uh, the car wear numbers are a little bit higher than what it was at Bristol, so I guess that's a neat attention and detail. I don't know. Well, we got another million of uh, money, so from our incentives, so that's good. And um, I guess that'll be it. We're only 1.8 million away or so to... Uh, getting the uh, 100 arrows, so we're almost there. But for now, why did I burp? Wow, oh my god. That's embarrassing. Let's wrap this part up. Big shout out to my two or three Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave on our Champ 15, NASCARMerside.org, Billy Carrier, Drew, Jonathan Carr, and Robert Dillon, Golf 100, and Denny Hamlin, Ultimate Fan, for their donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel every single month like this. It does me a lot, and like usual, it does go a very long ways, and I'm always very, very appreciative of what you guys do. It's always really, really freaking badass to go. See you all next episode for Talladega and then Dover. So, um, I think with uh, everything we have in the car for uh, our development, we should win Talladega without too much of a problem. Unless weird pit cycling, I don't know. Like, Daytona actually helped us that it was it went like we had a caution. So, maybe, I don't know. Is it weird to say that if I I need a caution to win a Dega? That's like the exact opposite of what I usually like to have happen. But I think that might actually help me. And then Dover, which might be tough, might not be. I mean, we still keep our momentum. I mean, we might just destroy the field there too. So who knows? But anyways, that'll do it for me. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.